of Low Average Gaming. I'm your host, The Below Average Gamer. Today, we're going to be discussing something really interesting that just dropped. That's the new Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location trailer. Super excited about this because I've been, I'm one of those people who's been looking forward to the next Five Nights at Freddy's game for five ever. Just forever and even longer because it's five, five ever. You get that? Um, but yeah, super excited. I want to discuss a lot of things. There's so many things that I just want to go ahead and jump into. I'm just going to go ahead and play the trailer so that we can go ahead and get right on into that. Okay? You see now why I was so excited for this trailer. There's so much stuff going on, including the fact that I was right in the reflection of the clown creature, which has been now named Baby. In the reflection of Baby's nose, we do see Mangle, or, or a version of Mangle. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. I have this video over here that we can use to analyze what we just watched. So let's go ahead and hop into that. So here we basically just have um, a replay of what happened in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3. And 4, there. Now I don't know what this room is. My assumption would be this would be either a separate room that you can go to, almost like you have your, your main section here. Let me kind of show you what I mean. So basically, you would have your main office area, is my assumption, and then you have your doors, which are separate rooms, or as we'll see later, this piping on the side here actually might be, this piping here might actually be a section of um, the other office. So you actually have to turn fully, this is a 180 degree office, to look at the door, which is going to be terrifying because this will be, I believe, the first game that the doors are not actively in your window of vision. Now, I'll show you the reason why I think that right now. If I can get it just right. Shoot. Okay, let's try that again. Ah. Okay, here we can see a couple different things happening. Here we see, um, there's Balloon Boy up here in the top corner, which is kind of interesting because it is a callback to some other characters. There's an image over here, which seems to be um, of Baby again, or of the... Uh, no, this is of Mangle, because it has the dress. So this would have to be Mangle, I believe. I don't know. And then there's this other character here, very much in the same sense as Balloon Boy, but at the same time very different. It's almost taking the place of the cupcake as a mini character here. Now, if you look at towards the end of this section here, we're going to actually turn. So we start to turn. Um, and like I said, the piping over here, the wires, all seem to almost be uh, reminiscent of what we saw in the previous scene. So, really interesting. These all appear to be screens or windows of some sort. Um, I would assume them to be screens, which is going to be really immersive, really terrifying. If, um, like my thought here, is that each of these screens 
is one room and you only have about three rooms that you can monitor and there would be more that you wouldn't be able to monitor you only have the three main rooms so there would be points where you actually wouldn't see the other characters here we have we, we just saw the vents from uh, very reminiscent to Five Nights at Freddy's 2 it looks like in the video you'd be able to traverse these vents I don't think you'll be able to I don't I think that that's just a cinematic thing I don't think that we're actually gonna be able to go through the vents I'd be really surprised if we could so here we see mangle it has the lipstick down here on the lips that's how I knew that it was a mangle type character it might be a mangle remake this interesting ballerina it's very very interesting a very different feel because it's very humanoid very different feel than that that we've seen in other other versions here we have a, a mangle type Freddy. Um, it just has the same paint job on it. And then we have, of course, the character Baby, who is just terrifying beyond a reason. All these characters seem chromed, almost like they weren't finished in the version that we saw prior. And now we are. Now if we look, I'm going to try to get it um, right when it lights up. Here, let's go back just a smidgen. You see, he actually, um, this version of Freddy actually has a bonnie puppet on it has a bonnie puppet on this hand no chica to be seen but we have freddy a version or a version of freddy and we have a version of foxy and then a, a, a bonnie here but we don't have chica so i'm and interesting where that character might play in we also have the ballerina completely new character and isn't a main character and then we have the baby character here right in the center dead center to the whole thing where she looks up we can see a little bit more color to her now than we could see in the teaser image and here's one of the things that I assumed was gonna happen with this title is that it's gonna be titled sister location rather than it being five nights at Freddy's five or five nights at Freddy's sister location it's it's it looks like they're doing a job of making sure that we understand this is going to take place in the same universe but a separate place completely so this is sister location at five nights at Freddy's five nights at Freddy's is sister location very interesting and then i'm not even going to try to stop it on that final scene it's just yeah this fall which in scott logic means spring now let's go back to the face cam um hello welcome back hi i missed you um yeah a couple different things happening here I said before, oh, if Mangle is in this version of the Five Nights at Freddy's story, it would have to be a prequel. However, I'm kind of pulling that back. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but we saw Mangle, so you have to be right. This has to be a prequel because Mangle's in it. Yes and no. This version of Mangle seems to be a little bit more upgraded. And yeah, Mangle gets torn apart. It gets broken into pieces in, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But at the same time, it's what they're whispering. At the end there, we have that whisper, you don't know what we've been through. And it says that they've been locked away. It actually says they're underground. So I don't know what's happening with this underground and why you'd be monitoring them. But this is clearly based on what we've seen of their office. This is not something active that people are a part of. Or at least that's my assumption. I could be wrong on all of this. Like I said, this is all speculation. This is all just guesses of what the game's going to be about. But there's somewhere that these characters aren't active. There's somewhere that this is all kind of shut down. But yet Mangle is in complete repair. Even with its counterpart, the Mangle Freddy. So it's kind of interesting to see where this is going to go. My assumption is that this is modern day, if not future. Uh, these characters have been docked away and it says, you don't know what we've been through. When I first heard that, my thought was how Mangle was, used, was just abused and torn apart by children and taken apart put back together all sorts of stuff and we can't even be sure that that was all mangle that could have been multiple creatures yeah, the mangle is the amalgamation of all those characters but that could be it is that all these characters are mushed together to create the mangle um, it, we've even noticed before people brought it up when Five Nights at Freddy's 2 first came out and had theories about that is that mangle has two heads it has one head that is the mangle fox face and one head that's just an empty blank animatronic. So could this be that mangle is the um, is truly the amalgamation of all of these characters put together? In which case, yeah, this is 
prior. This is a lot prior. However, that line, that single single line, you don't know what we've been through, makes me think that this might be a post game. You know, and what what they've been through is they've been torn apart, put back together millions and millions of times by kids. Um, Mangle, for those of you who don't know, first off, what are you doing here? Second off, for those of you who don't know, Mangle was a toy or a game that kids used in the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 world. And uh, you could take apart the animatronic and put it back together, kind of a make your own doll type situation. But what if Mangle was originally multiple puppets, multiple animatronics? Yeah, parts got lost, parts got taken apart, things got taken away. But what if it was multiple animatronics? We even see in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, a blank animatronic. I think there's actually two blank, blank animatronics, nicknamed Sparky, um, that wander throughout the premises. They're very, very rare characters to spot, but they are there. I'm sorry, my camera keeps going in and out of focus. I don't know what's happening there. I think it's when I wave my hands. It wants to refocus. But yeah, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, there's even multiple animatronics just wandering around without any clothing or anything on them. In fact, there's two, and there's Mangle, and there's another head. So I'm curious if those could be the four animatronics we see here. So disregarding that last line, you don't know what we've been through, or even if it's leading up to another series of games where we're going to go back in time and kind of see what they've been through before this, I don't know, maybe Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is the final of what happens to them, and this will be prior. So let's pretend that universe, that this is what happened prior to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It would make sense that this could be the original location. Yes, they use the phrase sister location um, uh, multiple times, but in this universe, if we're going by the way that this all happened prior to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, then this could possibly be the original location. Kind of interesting when we think about that because we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2 that takes place in one location, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, which takes place after that, and then Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which takes place even further after that. So the timeline goes Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So that's that line. But Five Nights at Freddy's 2 in the game even notes that it's not the first location. There was a location prior that had the characters, the original gang, there. And Five Nights at Freddy's 4 points back to this in the nightmares and the dream sequences and things, that there was something before that had these characters, or had characters similar to this. Could these characters be from the original Five Nights at Fre or the original Freddy Fazbear's location? There's a couple different things pointing against it, but this, if it does come before, it would make a lot of sense that this would be the original location, or maybe even this is the, the, the holding cell for these characters while they're not being used. I mean, they say deep underground, you know, some of these places, they have it where, like, the Chuck E. Cheese actually backs up into the curtain, and the curtain closes once the stage recedes back in. I don't think that it's too far-fetched to think that maybe this thing goes underground when it's not being used. And this whole game is going to be taking place underground in that storage facility. I mean, the idea of some sort of crazy storage or some sort of crazy animatronic new technology isn't new in Scott's world. We have suits that you can put on and then can go walk around on their own. We have facial recognition programmed into animatronic suits that also do that, walk around or can be worn. So it's not too far-fetched to say, in fact, it's even more believable in the real world to say that this thing just sinks underground and that's where the entire security facility is, is underground and you're having to monitor that. That's universe one, the universe where this all takes place prior to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Here's my favorite, is that it's not actually a prequel, and that this is going to be taking place after Five Nights at Freddy's 2, or before, and, and before Five Nights at Freddy's 3, or after Five Nights at Freddy's 3. 3 doesn't actually sync up anywhere in here, so it could be either, it wouldn't really matter. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at a couple different things. One is going to be a line said by the phone guy in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which is here. After learning of an unfortunate incident at the sister location involving multiple and simultaneous spring lock failures, the company has seen these suits as temporarily unfit for our employees. Let's take a second to, to analyze that. After learning of an unfortunate incident at the sister location. Now, what's going on here? This is by the phone guy in a pre-recorded message. This has nothing to do with what's going on currently. 
this is a recording that took place at some other time. Because remember, in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, they're, they're refinding these artifacts. They're uncovering them as they're going. So then, this could be happening, again, in that same universe we just talked about. This could all take place prior to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, but recovered and used in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Immediately after this line, in the same game, uh, Phone Guy says this, Safety is top priority at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, which is why the classic suits are being retired to an appropriate location. It's why the classic suits are being retired to an appropriate location. This could mean that in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, um, it says that the suits, the classic suits, that's what I would see as the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 gang. And yes, the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 gang does take place after Five Nights at Freddy's 2, but they were also there in the original location. That's what I, I originally thought, was that these could be the classic suits, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy. But if we look at the timeline in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, that there were two golden suits, a golden Freddy and a quote-unquote golden Bonnie, which has been named Springlock or Springtrap. I'll go ahead and refer to him as Springtrap. So there was a golden Freddy and a Springtrap costume. They've been retired to an appropriate location. Now, what location would be appropriate for these disfigured, dismembered, horrible, you know, bloody machines? Well, that would be a haunted house. Safety is top priority at Freddy Fazbear's Peach Show, which is why the classic suits are being retired to an appropriate location while being looked at by our technicians. They even say in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, they say, we found this suit locked up and we're going to be using it for the for the thing, <laughs> for the for the haunted house. And now we've all, we all know that Five Nights at Freddy's and the Freddy Fazbear like, faculty doesn't really care what happens to their employees. So could it be that these weren't actually sent to technicians, but instead were just sent to the haunted house? Or were locked away for years later to be used by Five Nights at Freddy's 3 of Fazbear Frights? Who knows? But it does explain what happened to the golden suits, whereas the previous verse here um, has been incident has been moved to a sister location. In Five Nights at Freddy's 3, they actually draw to the fact that there is a sister location. Maybe this could be the sister location that these incidents happened at. So we can already see that something is going to happen. More involving the spring lock failures, more involving the spring trap suits. These suits, they don't look wearable, but maybe that's the issue, is that they're not wearable. It says that they're moved to a sister location. That could be why we get Mangle. Is that the, when these characters are moved to a sister location, Mangle is the amalgamation, again, of these characters. They don't really fit into the theme of the toy characters. They don't really fit into the theme of the classic Freddy, Chica, and Bonnie. But they could still be of use if taken apart and rebuilt, put back together day after day, night after night to create that mangle. So I, I, I do think that this is a prequel to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I think that here we're witnessing a question that no one really asked. We were too busy looking at who the phone guy was. We were too busy looking at what happened to the kids. We were too busy wondering the question that Scott wanted us to ask. You know? Why are these robots evil? Are they evil? What happened to them? How did they get this way? But he introduced us an interesting character in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 that we were so enthralled with this idea of murder and mystery that we forgot to ask, why would this character exist? Where did the mangle come from? You know, this game is, I think, is going to be the first in the long line of stories that's going to help us uncover more of these just odd questions, more of these strange characters. There's a lot of questions that weren't answered. You know, stuff regarding Balloon Boy in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, how he worked, where he came from, Balloon Girl, who's hardly even seen, who a lot of people wouldn't even know existed unless you took the time to look at the intricate details of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And those are the thing that Scott's drawing on, the fact that you might have ignored those. The fact that while we were looking and trying to figure out the murder, trying to figure out who Purple Guy was, who Phone Guy was, there was a character that we overlooked who had a clear mystery to them. A character who shouldn't exist. A character who's actually a set of four characters. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I believe the mangle was and what I believe 
the sister location is. Um, let me know your thoughts on that, because there's a lot of stuff in the air about what this sister location is, where these characters came from, what spot in the timeline this is going to take place. And I feel like when the game does come out this fall or in Scott timeline, spring or summer sometime, um, it's only going to raise more questions, which is only going to raise more games. You know, I'm really interested to see where it goes. I've always been a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. I'm really excited to be a Sister Locations fan and to see the plays that go on with that. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, watch the trailer a couple more times, a couple thousand more times, because it's great. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description where you can download the trailer, where you can kind of analyze it, zoom in, zoom out, pause it, play it, do whatever you want with it, kind of do stuff like that. But there'll be a download link available in the description, or you can just go to um, Scott Cawthon's YouTube page. Thank you for watching, you the best, and bye!